Today we are going to build this wonderful capybara spa in Yosemite Valley. If you want to see how that's been done, well, stick with me and enjoy this video. Welcome back to Planet Zoo and welcome back finally to Yosemite Valley. It's been a long time, but now with the brand new Wetlands DLC, we are back in here building a lovely little habitat. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to what you are saying about this habitat because I am really in love with it at the end. It was quite a struggle, let me tell you. So first things first, um, I've been I've been super busy these last days with keeping track of my little one. She's been sick and, and uh, she's been very exhausting because she's growing very quickly and so uh, actually also very time consuming. That meant I didn't really have too much time to prepare stuff for this DLC, unfortunately. So you won't see that many videos of me, from me, uh, with me, you know. <laughs> um, I, I tried my best, but you know, life comes in way sometimes uh, in the way but um, this one over here I sat down yesterday evening and I had a very specific idea in mind and it worked and um, this is um, not really too often that uh, this is said about Planet Zoo but uh, it, it just kind of worked out and I'm I'm, I'm still pretty convinced um, that this game has such a strength when it works it, it just kind of makes me enjoy this so much every time again and again. Um, you will see hopefully later on in the real-time part to, to, to why I'm saying that. But um, let me just first of all say one thing. Um, this whole build um, was with an idea in mind that is uh, drawn from the wonderful platform called Google, <laughs> the Google Image Search. Now, uh, it won't come as a surprise to you that the Capybara is uh, known for a lot of bathing and the bathing ritual that it has. Um, in, in fact, also pretty well um, done by Frontier, uh, how they integrated that into the into the game. I even love the fact how they, when they when they left their ritual, they, they go back to sleep and then they are still like um, having having mist coming off of them because they are like so hot and stuff. I really love that effect and it is even um, increased when it's winter time. But what you guys definitely have seen when you look for KP Barath and bathing on Google images, you will come up um, with a lot of images that feature oranges. Um, yeah, oranges. In Japan, there is a, it's kind of a wellness spa kind of thing for these KP Barath. They just put them into water where there are quite a lot of oranges in. I don't know what exactly that does, but it first of all looks kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. And also they seem to really enjoy that flavor and also they can just chew on them, I guess, uh, in the meantime. I don't know exactly what's happening. But my idea was that I wanted to give them some different spa options in this habitat in Yosemite. The main, the main reason for that is that I really had a hard time to find out what exactly I wanted to do that goes in line with the Yosemite style. Because you'll see at the end, it's it's a lot different from most of the other outdoor areas, um, mainly because um, there is a you know uh, there's a couple more tropical plants and my idea is it's first of all it's located very close to the tropical dome so I think location wise this makes a lot of sense um, but then again it also features a lot of hot water stuffy and you know that could be the way how to keep those plants alive and you know also have some warming lamps and whatever but I think the the main the main reason is that we have a lot of uh, warmth and just the climate created within the habitat could work to keep those plants most of the year alive and then you know just imagine then it winter times um, these things can be taken to the inside uh, of, of you know the storage area or even the tropical house because it's just close by so um, this is the this is the main idea to why I think it's pretty realistic the way it is. Um, speaking of realistic, I freaking want to build a barrel for them. Uh, and you will later on see in this build that it, for whatever reason, works out. Uh, I honestly have no idea why. So if you like that, support the th channel and subscribe because I built a barrel, okay? That's the easiest. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I just saw I just saw the little thing plop up and I was like uh, finding a segue, which I didn't. Um, but a better segue is, um, speaking of all these uh, water things, I this time incorporated a little backstage... Um, facility thingy that you will see. We are not going to build this entirely. It's just an imaginary thing. Um, but this part where I put like the wall in here now as also it's also like a viewing thing that you know the viewing is blocked a little bit so we maintain a bit of the natural appeal of this entire area. But on the other hand uh, below that wall in the back we imagine there could be like a little facility hallway in which the mechanics or like the keepers can access all the pipe stuff that would be located somewhere in order to you 
you know, make sure to check temperatures and making sure that everything is fine um, and all the other stuff that you don't want to have the animals access and also you don't want the guests to see is basically located behind that wall and we're going to obviously make that look good from the front as well. You can see I'm also working with a couple of inclines here making sure that the habitat looks interesting enough to, oh, having, having certain uh, different height elevations and just using a couple of these um, rock thingies here, fa fake rocks and stuff uh, to make it look really nice but also kind of a little bit fake you know uh, because that's how zoos would to, would do this and um yeah a again in in total i'm super happy mixing in some some local rocks and stuff as well to make sure it blends a bit better with yosemite as an area and honestly though i i'm i'm still quite happy with how it all worked out i i used these moss stones here to as again um make sure that this hallway is kind of covered you know we could even try to at some point if i i, I don't know maybe i've got at some point in my life again uh, there will be a phase of boredom i don't know then we could make <laughs> make this backstage thing uh, fixed but i think overall for yosemite yosemite is so detailed and so huge i think it's not needed but you guys have seen that and um, I love the little fence I used for the prairie dogs so much that I thought, you know what, let's just repurpose them over here, make it make it look a tiny little bit more weathered and stuff. I don't know, maybe as if this is the older habitat, nothing too crazy, um, and just use that over here. But I thought, you know, again, speaking of uh, reusing certain pieces, um, I kind of made this again because I thought, it just makes sense that in a zoo, not everything would look new. This is also why I reused the walls here that we used already on the bridge. Again, this makes also total sense because that's kind of a coherency thing for the architectural style. So all in all, I think it makes a lot of sense to keep um, with, within the boundaries of the architectural style that we have set for Yosemite. It's kind of a, you know, it's always kind of a juggle uh, to bring in elements of the animal's original habitats and then to make sure it all blends well with the actual park we are in and the actual biome we are in. So you, you see I'm reusing most of the things. I don't know why it still feels bad even using my own blueprints it's kind of weird not gonna lie it's you know i have done this at one point so it's my work and i still feel bad for using uh, my own blueprints but I, you know it just kind of speeds things up when you have uh, already set kind of a uh, foliage pattern what you use around the river and so it was like using the same thing over and over again and yeah what i wanted to make sure is that we don't always uh, have uh, only one um you know, a volume of water. There's also going to be another little pool in which they can chill and relax. Um, unfortunately, this is not going to be used uh, super often because there's no real point for them to go there. But I'm very happy that all the other pools are used um, except this deep dive thing. Again, deep dive issue from Planet Zoo. I'm going to talk about that in a different video. I have already contacted Frontier. Uh, maybe they're going to do something about this, maybe not. But um, I think the deep dive mechanism um, has to be fixed in a way that the restrictive two meter deep diving for once is good that they have you know improved that already in the past but still it's not only that you need two meters you also need so much space for them to deep dive that it is kind of ridiculous and i wish they would just go and um, honestly get rid of this restriction um, as soon as you have one two by two meter water volume they should dive and if there is some clipping then there is some clipping, I can actually live with that, but better than not having them dive unless you have a freaking humongous uh, bo bottom of water, which you'll never see in zoos for these types of animals. It's totally fine for like the sea lions and the seals and maybe even the king penguin. Um, these are typically the animals that have a huge space, but all the other semi-aquatic animals in this game usually also have shallow water and lower water and whatever and not that huge bottoms of water um, in which they delve into but yeah it's it's kind of weird yeah and then i'm fixing some of the um very important bits here i'm fixing the uh, traversable area first at uh, this time around i thought about that and then i also came up with a different idea to make that look a little bit better i used the plaster circular um, bottom to make sure that they can access this little tap of water here and so it always looks like as if they go into a barrel in the real time section we will actually fix that and make it even deeper um which looks even better because then the um capybara 
actually sits inside of the water. That looks freaking amazing. Uh, and I'm I'm still a big fan of how this all works. And yeah, the last bit is, is doing some foliage, doing the very much needed foliage work here um, because we have to make it look green. And again, this was the struggle um, to find the right, the proper plant mixture between local and uh, habitual, habitual, I don't know, um, fitting foliage for the animals and uh, fitting foliage uh, for the biome and I also got rid of some of the stuff you see in here so I really did a bit of trial and error how it looks the best way and um, make making sure it kind of works together. I tried some palm trees but I ended up not doing that because it just didn't look good but I actually did use these um, uh, knee pieces from the new trees which is kind of cool they they look almost like a rock pieces even though it's it's wood but i thought it, it just kind of fits very very well in here and so i ended up using those here you can see i'm just getting rid of some of the uh, foliage that i didn't like and then making sure the the roof is pretty simply done as well um the interior honestly is not really nicely themed whatsoever i focused on the outside habitat first um but there are a couple of little things, little fixes um, I'm definitely going to do in the future. There's still some work to do in Yosemite and this is uh, some stuff I'll I'll gladly come back to uh, because that habitat really gave me a lot of fun building and so I think there's a huge chance I'm getting back here um, and trying to make it all uh, even work out even better. And then you can see the last thing I quickly did is uh, putting also a head tap in here, making sure that they have a reason to go there even though they don't but yeah, whatever. Um, putting some rocks and stuff in, putting some last little details and uh, that's about it. I really really enjoyed making this habitat. It it was a blast building. I built this in one entire go. I did some little cuts in between in which I checked some inspiration material but other than that I built that in three hours straight and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Sometimes it's really good to sit down in one go but now let's jump over into the real time part and have a look. And here we are in the real time part and of course we are going to use the brand new Xflor camera mode which is kind of cool because um, we can now lower ourselves down as uh, being a kid so you can see that I also integrated the kids view uh, in the little cave here for the capybara but this is not what we want to look at this is what we want to look at this is the capybara habitat and oh man I am so so freaking happy look at that view just just look at this view with this capybara down there in the oranges and also this one sitting in the big barrel I am such a fan of this view of this overall area and just how it all played together. I did not expect it to happen and to work and uh, just imagine you are a kid, you can also go here and then you have this view. So still, oh my god, um, excuse me, this is not child friendly, could you not do that again? Um, so yeah, I'm also very happy that these things seem all to work. Um, pretty cool view from everywhere you go. Um, so you have got this uh, very hot tub down there, you've got all the, all the water taps coming out of there of the water. We've got this facility uh, hidden away, kind of imaginary water pipe section in the back I talked about. And then uh, the further you go, you've got some different elevated terraces. Um, or is that even a word? I don't know. Um, there you've got another lovely little space to chill down for them. So they have to go through the water to be here. But I think this is kind of good for them to get here. And then they just uh, jump into the water and then the further you go you also have like a little deep dive area which unfortunately they don't use quite yet. I have to do some little fixes um, in order to make it a tiny 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 bit bigger. In fact we can actually tie, uh, try to do this right now um, because I remember if I remember correctly let me just click on one of those they should be at yeah 79% uh, deep water diving. We need to get it at 100% um, so maybe it's already enough if we push some of these boulders further into the backside here sometimes this is already enough to oops no 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 not the whole thing oh my god please don't crash game that would be very helpful yeah no 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 thank you so much i just need to push that one thing back again let's see where we can maybe also find some other space maybe this one can be rotated a little so sometimes it's just these little boulders here and there that make the whole thing uh, already work uh, because they seem to be very aggressive when it comes to, you know, uh, getting rid of the, the deep dive area. I'm not quite certain to why this is so aggressive, but on the other hand, you know, I don't care too much if, uh, if it still looks good. 
I'm fine with how it is. Let's check if we did already achieve something in order to, to make the deep dive a little bit more accessible to them. And no, not quite. Um, okay, maybe we're gonna have to move other things. I don't know which ones it might make possible, but I don't know if we can just move you over or if we have to put some more stuff down I don't know you know it's 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 kind of complicated but you know um, just imagine it works I will make this work I will make this entire area work a little bit better um, because there is still something that makes the people prevent from going to look at them properly um, but I'm a quite a big fan of how that uh, works together and I think from location wise this is the only suitable location I found because that's next to the tropical dome so it kind of fits in we have the orangutans just over there um, it made no sense to bring them together even though they do have a uh, interspecies enrichment um, but you know it didn't make too much sense for the moment but yeah so this is the capybara habitat I really 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 hope you guys enjoyed this oh look at that this capybara is for us doing the the burial move again I'm so happy. I wish I was able to do that even even better um, to make them really sink into the water a little bit more than they actually do. Um, but other other than that, I'm still madly happy with how that all works. Um, like we we could actually try while this one is sitting here. I've no idea if we destroy that, but we are going to try. So we can actually lower this thing down. So maybe the KB Barra is just sitting ever so much more down in the water. Not sure if this is going to be boxed now or if it's just going to push, be pushed down. Oh, that looks good to me. Oh my god, look at that. It, it looks as if it is sitting even more in the barrel. Um, I'm becoming more and more of a fan of that, guys. This is just, this is just ridiculous. I love that. Um, so let's see if the one can also get out of here again. That looks, that looks good to me. Oh, it can. Oh, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. Okay, I didn't know that this works, um, but I'll take that, you know, I take that. Uh, not sure if they can still access that thing. Let me just quickly check that because if not, uh, the whole thing is, oh no, they can still. Okay, this is great. So they can also still access this tab. Yeah, well, that's good. Use this last month six times. That's good. That's really good. So they even do sit a little bit more in the water, which is kind of cool. I, I am uh, madly impressed by how this game sometimes works. It's weird. Certain easy things just don't work out and this very complicated little build just worked out. It's complicated. Anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video today. If you did enjoy, I would be so, so happy if you could consider subscribing to the channel. Recently, we've been growing again on the channel. My big target, if you know, is reaching 100k by the end of the year. It's still quite a stretch, but you can make me uh, reach that by just simply click that subscribe button if you haven't already. I know in these days um, you really have to earn that sub from people, but if you do like it and you have, uh, you know, haven't subbed yet, I would be madly happy if you do so. And my KP Barrows would be very happy too. So thank you guys so, so much for your support. Um, have a good time. Enjoy this wonderful new pack and I talk to you in the next one. Stay safe.